Welcome everyone to the road to final battle here on Ring of Honor's YouTube channel. Ian Riccoboni, professional wrestling's last romance, Silas Young, six man tag team title action. Should be a hell of an encounter. Let's take it to Bobby Cruz. This six man tag team match. It's set for one fall with a 30 minute time limit, and it is for the Ring of Honor World Six Man Tag Team. We going out with a bang! Approaching the ring are the challengers. Wow! At a combined weight of 629 pounds. Whoa! Be accompanied by Brody King. They are representing Violence Unlimited. Chris Dickinson, Tony Deppin. In Hulasai! Now we've talked about it quite a bit leading up to these matches, Silas, that you gotta end with a, you said it best, with an exclamation point. You gotta end strong. We're going into a little bit of an uncertainty here with Ring of Honor being reimagined. You wanna put your name out there, your face out there, and if you end this era of Ring of Honor with a title belt, I gotta think you're in the plans for 2022. Uh, there, there's, there's no doubt that. You know, speaking of uh, ending with an exclamation point, he did just the same thing yesterday. Uh, I'm proud of you, man. Ah, he finally <laughs> stepped up and did what a man should do. The priest has always been there for me. I'll be there for him. And this man has been there for his entire crew. Let's take it to Bobby Cruz. Third part, and a combined weight of 844 pounds. Big company by O.J. Edwards. They are the Ring of Honor World Six Man Tag Team Champion, Bolton and Khan of SOS, and Jay Killer, Jay Killer, Bruce Bolton. Affectionately, the Nabla beat them, Foundation beat them, and you boys are black. You are looking at the greatest trio you have ever seen in this book. What's on this? Well, certainly on pace to do so. You know, Silas, I did a little bit of research before we went on the air tonight. If they win here today, they will be guaranteed to have the third longest reign of the World Six Million Tag Team titles of all time. And they'd also be guaranteed to reach second. They'd be guaranteed to be in that second position. The only folks that have left after that point are Mexico Squad, who held the title famously through the pandemic. But I would argue that if Shane Taylor Promotions gets through Violence Unlimited, their reign has been a little bit more impressive. You heard it from Shane himself, beating the foundation, beating Mexico Squad, you know, it, beating La Passione and Gobernam. Absolutely, you know, that it, it's, it's uh, a title reign isn't just about the amount of days that you held the title. A lot of times it comes down to the opponents that you face. You know, Shane Taylor said it right. Uh, they've wrestled against the top six fans. Well, I have to say this about Violence Unlimited, though. They had a great series of matches in Philadelphia where they showed they function as a unit, whether it's here or in New Japan Strong. Chris Dickinson, Brody King, Homicide, Tony Deppin, all on the same page. And they've been successful in their own right with Dickinson and Homicide being the tag champs at one point this year, and Tony Deppin winning the world television title. So. A absolutely, you know, these are all high caliber athletes, all high caliber professional wrestlers here in the ring. I think the one thing that Shane Taylor Promotions has going for them is, is they're like a family. You know, you said it earlier, Shane Taylor looks out looks out for his guys. And in the wrestling business, we gotta be honest, it's, it's very much a business of looking out for yourself. So it's either extremely admirable of Shane Taylor or a little naive. It's the only time will tell. There you see Jake Clemens, our referee assigned to this bout. Tony Deppin looks like he's going to start things off. Tony, hey, yo. did you give him something? Hey, man. Clearly you're hot. Hey, man. And, and Tony can you Deppin. Now? Can you wrestle now? Are you good? Brody King was laughed at by Kenny King when he introduced Tony Deppin as the first member of Violence Unlimited. I don't remember the smirk. And for so long, people have taken Tony Depp and lightly. Right, I mean, you, you look at him, I mean, granted, Tony's been getting himself in great shape, but you look at Tony next to a guy like Shane Taylor, and it is it is almost laughable until you see what Tony can do in the ring. Absolutely, he can twist you up like a knot, that unusual, unorthodox movement, those unusual strikes, those open hands. He's not afraid to fight a little bit dirty. He's from Shimokin, we've mentioned this before, the coal mining town, the slate that they pull from the ground. That's about as blue collar as it comes, but it looks like those shots are more just angry, making Shane Taylor angry than, than really knocking him out of his head. Oh! Oh, goodness gracious. He might have knocked Tony's jaw off his face there. Hey, 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 just give him a 
minute. He'll be back in there. Open hands and, and Deppin regrouping. Yeah, you got to pick on the smallest one, huh? Former television champions in here, Taylor and Deppin. Tag made the homicide, former Ring of Honor world champion. Oh, this Stephen. is, oh, is going to be good here. This is a, something uh, I, I don't believe we've seen on Ring of Honor TV before, have we? I don't think we've seen Homicide against Moses, and that's what's so cool about having Homicide here in Ring of Honor. Oh, he. Of course you'd say there's no fork. And Homicide has has, uh, has pulled out a fork from many uh, pads, and boots, and shirts. That, that he has. You know, Homicide's a very complex wrestler. You know, he's, he's extremely violent, clearly. He's not afraid to use a fork, but his wrestling skills are, are absolutely amazing. So you never quite know what Homicide you're going to get. We've talked about reimagining Ring of Honor. You know, Homicide has, has been the savior of Ring of Honor in the past. We've talked about... The Cage of Death against CZW unexpectedly coming to the aid at Jim Cornette's pleas to, to come and save Ring of Honor more or less against the evading group of CZW at the time. He saved Ring of Honor then. He's a man who's in our fabric and our history, and he's in there with maybe the future, or definitely the present, and Moses. Ooh, shots to the midsection here. Moses is a fighter too. Yeah, he is. I mean, any of these guys that are with Shane Taylor promotions, they're not there by accident. They're there because they bring something to the table. Oh, big open hand. And a headbutt delivers. Homicide trying to fight out of STP's corner. But he's in trouble now. You know, as crazy and wild as Homicide is, I mean, you, you look at the size difference. And really, if, if uh, you know, Moses just manages to keep his weight on Homicide, uh, you know, he's going to get the job done here. Smart, smart tag wrestling here. Keeping him in the corner, cutting the ring off, tagging in and out. Especially a man the size of Khan. Great homicide, corner to corner here. Now the neutral corner, Khan. Been one third of the world six man champs. STP won those. They defeated Mexi Mexa Squad in February of 2021. Oh, wait, and then now homicide grabbing the dreadlocks. Homicide just doing what he what he can do to you know ca catch his breath, get get a little room here. And I love I love the hairstyle, but we've seen it with whether it's Moses Khan, Jay Briscoe. If you got dreadlocks, you got to be prepared for guys like Homicide to try and use them against you. Well, absolutely, I mean, you know, being myself having long hair, I know it's uh, it's, bit, it's bit me in the butt more than once. You know, in the NFL, you can actually use it's considered part of the uniform. You can actually pull on the hair, but Ring of Honor, it's not legal. Uh, I like the rules the NFL has better. <laughs> Body shots here. And Homicide in a bad way. Tag made. So this match uh, might end up being a little bit quicker than we thought it would be. Yeah, they have isolated the former Ring of Honor world champion. World six-man titles on the line. Thanks so much for joining us. Ian Riccoboni, Silas Young on the road to final battle. Lateral press cover one. You know, I think I think some people might question why you would, uh, out of all the guys, why you would try and wear it on Homicide, why you would maybe go after a guy like Tony Deppin. But I think the fact is, you know, uh, Ring of Honor has a lot of footage on Homicide. There's a lot of uh, a lot of footage available to study and uh, oh, find his mistakes, his weaknesses. Yeah, Homicide is the guy that will wear his heart on the sleeve too. Go to the eyes here. Sometimes with Homicide, if you get if you get that emotion to come out, that's when you can open up a window. But a tag made just in time to the 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 wild card, this animal, Chris Dickinson. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see Chris Dickinson here in, in Ring of Honor. You know, he's, he wrestles the style I like. He's got the attitude I like. Uh, and, and to be honest with you, I would have loved to have the opportunity to get in the ring with him and, of course, show him why I'm the real man in Ring of Honor. Well, this is a, a man you see. See that beautiful mustache right now? And he's he's just intense. You gotta be intense to have mustaches like you yeah, and Chris that, Dickinson. That, that, that mustache is okay. My mustache is beautiful. There you go. Double top wrist lock here. And and look at Khan grabbing the hands, trying to prevent the hyperextension. You gotta love the defensive wrestling and the strategy there. Absolutely. A lot a lot of this business is defense. You know, it's not not just about what, what you can do, it's about what you can do to get yourself out of uh, sticky predicaments. Tag made. Ah. Oh, that sucked, huh? That really sucked. And look at Brody King, the instigator on the outside. All is legal. Both he and O'Shea Edwards are licensed seconds for this match. So the trash talk, you just got to tune it out. 
the trash, the trash talk is important. You got to get in people's heads. You got to make them doubt themselves. Khan fighting out of the corner there. Big European uppercut trying to make the tag. With it. And Homicide getting lower, those hips lower than Khan. That's why he's able to prevent him from getting to the corner. And you can't make a tag if you're on the outside. Yeah, absolutely, you can't. You know, I'm going to give it to Homicide. He knows that he's, he, uh, you know, he has the size. He doesn't have the size here. So he's going to go go to what he can, and that's those dreads. What is he doing? Hey, what are we doing? Devin and Homicide just leading Khan away. And, and as they double suplex Khan, it's Dickinson sneaking up on Moses. And, and Brody King just has a, a, a visual distraction on, on O'Shea and Shane Taylor, and then Brody King hasn't touched anybody. Yeah, it looks like Violence Unlimited might be a, a little bit smarter here. You know, I said earlier, Shane Taylor promotions are like a family. They might have a little bit tighter unit, but it looks like uh, Violence Unlimited has their game plan a little bit stronger here today. And I think that's the one thing Violence Unlimited thrives on is, is the chaos and what in the world is happening over here. We, and, and Homicide has got a production crate. Well, this is very Homicide type of thing to do. Oh, right on the shoulder. Rearranging the furniture. He just, oh, and Shane Taylor breaking things up. Here, look at Moses. And we are up to, I believe, a, a nine count. It is a 20 count in Ring of Honor. Yeah, the referee here has completely lost control of this match. Oh, and, and look at, and Homicide's in, Homicide's in the ring. Yeah, but they, they don't they don't want to win on a count out. They want to win these six man titles. We're up to 14. I think it's fair to argue that this is probably the most important six man title match uh, Ring of Honor's yeah, ever had. It's going to say, if you win the titles here, you could be the last six man tag champs. Absolutely. No, and <laughs> Homicide calling for 20 as Khan trying to get back in the ring. And, and he might. He may get in, and Khan gets it just before 20. I don't know if that was the smartest move for Khan. You know, you can't yeah. lose the titles on a count out. You know, I get, I get being a man, having that, that, that ego that makes you not want to win the easy way. But you know, with, it, with the stipulations being what it is, what the, the, the energy of the company right now, what's happening, it might have been smart to just lose that match and keep the titles. Well, STP are men of character. If you remember, they wouldn't accept the titles by forfeit at final battle last year when, when Bandito was not cleared to compete due to COVID protocol. So I, I don't know that they, I don't know that that was in them, but I agree. And look at that, looking for, dial up 187, looking for the cop killer, but it's Moses with a shoulder tackle. And Moses full head of steam. Up and over belly to belly. Oh, just rattles Deppin. Collapsing homicide. And Dickinson caught. Moses sending homicide into the corner, charging in. Big boot. First rope on the inside. Second rope. Homicide up. But Moses, look at how strong Moses is. Wow, that's impressive. He was he was running rough shot over all of Violence Unlimited. Front face lock here. Moses has Homicide where he wants him. Big superplex. Oh, and Khan. Out of sight, out of mind for Homicide. Catches him. Shane Taylor's the legal man. Two. And Taylor was the legal man making the tag. As Moses hit that big superplex, he's in there with Homicide. Let me introduce you to Marcus Garvey, homie. Oh. Looking for the Marcus Garvey driver. And Dickinson gets his tag team partner down. The big right staggers Dickinson. I don't know if, I don't know if there's anybody in Ring of Honor that should be trying to go uh, punch for punch with Shane Taylor. Oh. If there's somebody crazy enough to try it, it's Dickinson. I'm not saying how successful he'll be, but. Front face lock here. Wow! Plant Shane Taylor. Absolutely yeah, impressive. Yeah. Sit him down. I'm aside the legal man. Hooks the leg, got the cover. Two. Oh, you got to hook that leg deeper on a guy like Shane Taylor. Come on, grab him. Come on, grab him. And now it is Deppin calling the shots here. It looks like Violence Unlimited is in firm control of this match here. Off the ropes, Oh, Khan grabbing Deppin. Smoke too soon. 
And Moses dumping Diggins into the outside. Super kick on Homicide. That's the hard thing about these matches. You have so many people involved. It's not like a singles match where you just have to keep your eye on one guy. Hang up! Come on, Tony! Knee to the midsection there. Front face lock, and now Fireman's carry, Khan! Oh! oh, it looks like it took his knee out too a little bit. Shades of Roderick Strong, and then the spinning heel kick from Dickinson. Oh my oh. God. Oh, stiff as a board. Cutter! Homicide lands the cutter on Shane Taylor! Oh, we might have new champions, chance. two and three! Just a two count there. Wow, and if you watch when, when Homicide does that, it's not just like your, your average cutter. He really hooks that head and he drives your face into the mat. And I can, I can tell you from firsthand experience, it does not feel good. And on the outside, Brody King. Sneak attack on O'Shea Edwards. Right, what, what are they doing here with this table? King and Edwards not in the match. No, and I gotta be honest with you, Ian, where's, where's, your, where's your anger? about Brody King uh, interfering. It, you know, that we, we've talked about the bias you have. I know. There's no bias. He, it was a sneak attack. It was dirty. I didn't like that part. I'll give you that. I'll give you, I'll give you that there was a sneak attack, and I, it shouldn't have happened. Hey, wait. Hey, who, this, the foundation is here. And Josh Woods, Taylor Russ, Tracy Williams, Rhett Titus. And why? Why are they here? These aren't, this isn't their match. They aren't, they aren't legally licensed to be seconding anybody here. No, you're absolutely right. You know, I thought the foundation was about the rules, about being pure. And inside the ring, it's Homicide and Shane Taylor. Scoop gets him down. Welcome to the land. Two. Shane Taylor has just been yet another former Ring of Honor World Champion. The winners of this match and still Ring of Honor World Six Man Tag Team Champions, Shane Taylor Promotions. And the foundation made their way down and they didn't interfere with anybody in the match. All they did was they moved the table and got it away from Brody King. It's, uh, this, this is a match I'd like to see again. There was so much chaos that happened. You know, we have six high caliber athletes in there in that match. And it really could have went anyway. It would be nice to see that match again without all the outside interference and see who truly the best six man take. And I would like to see the foundation and violence unlimited. That is boiling and coming to a head. But the story here, moving into third place, guaranteeing themselves second place all time with the six man titles. Shane Taylor Promotions. Fans, we want to thank you so much for joining us. What a win for Shane Taylor Promotion. Shane Taylor pinning another former world you champion. Everyone living. We knocked them all out the box. The greatest and the baddest you've ever seen. Who is going to stop these gentlemen? It remains to be seen. Tomorrow, join us. EC3 versus Demonic Flamita. What a main event level match that is. We'll bring it to you right here for Silas Young, Ian Riccoboni. Thanks for watching. Happy wrestling, everybody. Two thousand seven. I'm sitting on my couch, scrolling through TV, and what do I see? Ring of Honor Wrestling. The very first people that pop onto my screen, the Briscoes. And from that point on, the dream that I had of becoming a professional wrestler seemed real. I decided to do as much research as I could to figure out exactly what Ring of Honor was, and once I did, I knew this is where I had to be.